I've taught over 10,000 students on how to use AWS and serverless technologies. And uh, recently I wanted to experiment with an affiliate program and uh, looked into the possibility of using an affiliate software. And to my surprise, all the popular affiliate tracking software are super expensive. They go for anything from $100 a month to $1,000 a month, which is way more than I'm willing to spend on an experiment like this, where it's quite likely to fail. So instead, I built my own custom affiliate tracking system in a weekend. And the best thing about it is that it costs me nothing to run it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I needed a custom affiliate tracking system in the first place, how I've built it, and what I've built so far. So hopefully it will give you some inspiration on what to do if you ever need to build a custom affiliated tracking system yourself. Okay, so on to the video. So first thing first, why do I even need an affiliate tracking system? If I'm just a guy selling online courses, I mean, pretty much every platform supports affiliates already. Lemon squeeze it, does it? So does Gumroad and the Thinkific supports it as well. And as you can see, I've actually used some of this already. But as I've switched payment and the hosting platforms, it also meant that my affiliates had to switch platforms with me. And as I've added more courses to my catalog, I've also ended up using multiple platforms and therefore affiliate portals. And right now I have the AppSync Masterclass, which teaches you full stack development using GraphQL and AppSync by taking you step-by-step step through building a Twitter clone. And I've got testing serverless architectures which is focused on serverless testing and covers everything from testing Lambda functions to step functions, state machines, and the event-driven architectures as well. And then there's production-ready serverless, a cohort-based as well as instructor-led workshop that gives you an end-to-end -end training on serverless development from project organization, testing, deployment, CI/CD to security and observability and everything in between. And so the AppSync Masterclass and the testing serverless architectures are both purely on-demand video courses. And I'm hosting the video content on Thinkific, which they do support taking payments, but they don't handle taxes, which is a big no-no because tax on digital courses is a very complex topic and it's definitely not something that I want to deal with myself. So instead I use Pedal to process payments, which as a bonus, Pedal supports multiple currencies, so students are able to pay in their local currency, making it easier for them. But most importantly, Pedal is a merchant of record and is able to collect the right amount of tax and handle all the VAT reporting and so on. So I don't have to worry about it. But they don't allow any live instructor training on their platform because the tax rules for those are very different from digital products, which means I can't use them for my production-ready serverless workshop even though I can still host the video content on Thinkific. So initially I went with Gumroad, which was very easy to use and I was quite happy with them. But then they went and announced a big price hike and the new price structure also passes the payment processing cost to you. So suddenly my Gumroad cost went from 5% to about 13% in total. And at that point I decided to switch. And after a bit of research, I ended up with Lemon Squeezy which is reasonably priced and the handles tax collection and the reporting, which is what I was looking for. And because Thinkific can't be trusted with taking payments because it doesn't handle tax, so I can't just use its affiliate system. And the obvious solution at this point is to switch from Thinkific to Teachable, which does handle tax correctly and it supports both digital products as well as live instructor training. And it will actually cost me less than what I'm paying Thinkific but I will have to uproot and move all of my students, which I feel is too disruptive. There might be a good reason to do that in the future, but not just so that I can use Teachable's affiliate system. So I started looking around for an affiliate tracking software, and that's when I discovered that all the popular tools in this space are pretty darn expensive, and definitely more than what I'm willing to spend on for an experiment, which is very likely to fail. So I thought I can build this. I'm a pretty good developer and with serverless, I can probably build something that's not gonna cost me a thing. And so I did in less than a weekend. And here's how I did it. Since I've never built an affiliate tracking system before, I went and asked ChatGPT what an affiliate tracking system consists of. And he said, I need to give every affiliate a unique URL and I need to use cookies to track users who click on the URLs 
and I need to build some reporting capabilities to track conversions, earnings, etc., etc. So when a student clicks on an affiliate URL and lands on a homepage, we're going to set a cookie to track the affiliate ID. And you have to decide at this point whether the first affiliate gets the commission or the last, because a student can click on multiple affiliate URLs and also how long you want to keep the cookie for. And when the student does make a payment, in my case, it will be either through Pedal or through Lemon Squeezy, depending on the course. At this point, we need to make sure the affiliate ID is passed along to the payment processor so that when the payment is complete and their webhook hits my API, I'm able to capture the affiliate ID that was passed to the payment processor so that my API function is able to take this affiliate ID and save it in a DynamoDB table to keep track of the purchases. And from here, the DynamoDB stream on the table triggers another function, which will send an email to me and to the affiliate using the simple email service and that let us know that, hey, good news, the affiliate has generated a sale and earned X amount of commission, so everybody's happy. And then the affiliate can head to the affiliate portal and check on his commissions. For this portal, I'm using Cognito User Pool for user authentication and I implemented passwordless authentication using one-time passwords. As you can see, there's no password fields on the login screen. This is done by implementing a custom authentication flow using Cognito's Lambda hooks to generate a random one-time password and emailing it to the user. And the user is able to log in with this one-time password before it expires. And once logged in, the affiliate portal front-end is going to talk to an AppSync API which uses Cognito Authorizer and validates the user's JWT token. And uh, lets the front end find out what commissions the affiliate has earned or view his or her profile, which is stored in an affiliate DynamoDB table. But for the analytics data like page views, I decided to use TimeStream instead of DynamoDB because it's a better fit for purpose. If you want to learn more about TimeStream, then let me know in the comments. I can do a future video on TimeStream and show you how it works and uh, when it should use it over DynamoDB. Anyway, to wrap things up, here's a quick demo of the affiliate tracking system that I was able to build in a couple of days. So once you've logged in, you can see the commissions that you've earned, as well as any commissions that haven't been paid yet. The pages are looking very simple because I'm not much of a front-end developer, but the basic functionalities are there. You can see your profile, including your affiliate ID, as well as your unique affiliate URLs for each of the courses that I have to offer and your commission rate. I can also go to analytics tab and see the commissions, the page views, as well as the unique visitors that has clicked on my affiliate URLs. I can choose different time windows to look at the last 24 hours, last seven days, last 30 days, and so on. And you can see the page views according to day or hour, depending on your time window. And because I'm logged in as an admin, I also have an admin tab that allows me to see the analytics for my affiliates as well. I know Sandro just shared my links on his latest uh, newsletter. So we can see some page views and visitors in the last 24 hours. And if you go to the last seven days, you can see when he sent out the newsletter and those links were clicked and viewed for the AppSync masterclass, testing serverless architectures and production ready serverless and the number of unique visitors for each of the websites as well. And this tab is only available for admins. And here I've got another account that's logged in through my hey.com email with a different set of affiliate URLs, but there's no admin tab. I can still see the analytics for my account, which is different from the one I was looking at earlier. And this account has no activities whatsoever, so it's zero all the way. So, okay, so that's a very quick demo of the affiliates portal. So I built the initial version of the system in just over a day, and the analytics tracking and the graphs were added afterwards, which took maybe another day's work. And the system is fully serverless. So it's got all the benefits of serverless, like being able to scale if and when it needs to. And it's got multi-AZ redundancy. But of course, I'm not paying for running the servers in multiple data centers. I only pay for my functions when they run. And the system is secure because AWS manages all the underlying infrastructure from the physical servers to the EC2 instances that my code ultimately runs on. And for the foreseeable future, it's likely going to be free because I'm well within the free tier for all the services. 
And seeing as the affiliate program hasn't really got going yet, it's great news that I don't have a big monthly bill hanging over my head as I try to make it work. So I hope this gave you a good idea on how you can use serverless technologies to try out new product ideas quickly and uh, fail cheaply if things don't work out. And if you want to see how I help the client launch a new social network in just a couple of weeks, and again, using serverless technologies, then you're going to want to check out this video right here. Okay, I'll see you next time.